Hey everybody, Syntax77 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a newly released flashlight from Olight, the i3T EOS little mini pen light. As you can see, it's about the width of my hand there, three and a half inches, a little bit more than the width of my hand. And this just came out yesterday, well, July 3rd, 2018, depending on when you're watching this. Now, Olight did send this to me pre-release for review, so I've actually had the ability to use this for a little while now, and I've been everyday carrying it and using it around the house outside, inside, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it as well as go over the specs and the features of this little guy right now. This is a single AAA battery system. Very simple, you just spin off the tail cap here, out comes the battery, just a regular standard AAA. I'm using an alkaline, you can also throw nickel metal hydrate in here or a lithium if you wish as well. But let's just go and pop the battery back in with the negative side up. Screw the tail cap down and we're in business. And as you can see, I simply turn it on by using the tail cap switch back there and turn it off the same way. Very simple in terms of the modes on this guy. It is a five lumen low with a throw of 12 meters or a 180 lumen high mode with a throw of 60 meters. As far as runtime goes, you're gonna get a lot more obviously on that lower mode. And I've found that five lumens is actually my favorite all around lighting level for flashlights. It doesn't sound like a whole lot, especially when everybody's trying to make these brighter and brighter lights. But in my experience, most of the time, I just need a little bit of light to look underneath of a couch or something around the house. I'm not doing like search and rescue missions or anything like that. I'm just a regular guy that carries a flashlight. I go camping as well and backpacking, and I find five lumens is good for around camp as well. So in that five lumen mode, this guy's gonna run for, on a single AAA battery, it's gonna go for 16 hours. Yes, that's a lot of time. Now, if you wanna use the 180 mode, you gotta do some quick spotting in the distance or just a little more light critical task, then you can go into that 180 lumen mode, which is a decent amount of light. It's actually a ton of light for a light of this size, and that's gonna run for 21 minutes. Now, it may not sound like much, but like I said, at least for me personally, I find that I don't often actually use that much light that often. It's just an occasional quick burst here and there. So I'm actually on my first battery still and I've had this guy for over a week now or so. Could they have thrown in a third kind of intermediary level in there, maybe a 30 lumen? Uh, perhaps they could have. And then maybe that would have had a runtime of like 10 hours or something like that. But I think they were trying to keep it simple with this guy and that seems to be what they did. Now operation is simple as well. I simply hit that tail cap like I showed before and it goes into low first. And then if I click it off and on again, it's gonna go into the high mode. If you wanna go directly into high, no problem. You can soft click this, which also brings up another feature, which is the momentary on feature. So listen, I don't actually click it all the way. It's on and then I let go. So I can just kind of quickly light something up and then release, no full click needed. Which brings me to the next thing that I was gonna talk about, which is if you wanna get quickly into high without deep clicking it, that's fine. You just do a soft click and then right into a deep click. So soft and deep click, and now you're in high and you turn it off. Pretty simple, right? Let's take a look a little closer up here as well. You're gonna see that the body of it has that kind of double helix uh, knurling on there, if you will, that gives it a cool look, but also more importantly, a nice grip. Feels pretty good in the hand. If you're familiar with Olight, this is their nice standard clip on here, which is nice because it's reversible without actually taking the clip off. So you can slide it in your pocket that way, or if you want it to be lens side up, it also works like this. Another advantage of that, you can actually put it on the brim of a hat, by using that secondary clip to keep the lens facing out. And there you go. Now you got kind of a makeshift headlamp there. Or if you have a notch hat like I do, this notch is actually for my sunglasses, but at night you could use the clip on the front there to kind of notch it in there, if you will. And now I've got a light coming from the side. So that's kind of versatile. It does go pretty deep, which I do like, as you can see on a pair of jeans here. I do like a light that goes as deep as possible into the pocket, just to kind of keep a clean look, especially if you're doing dressier clothes and it keeps it 
kind of out of sight and just nice and neat looking. Just enough sticking up here to get some purchase on it, which is nice. If it was completely deep in there, then it'd be a little harder to grab onto it. But these pen lights are my favorite everyday carry kind of setup. It's very quick to pull it out, and there's really no way to miss the button for turning it on. Sometimes with the more complicated flashlights with a bunch of modes, they have a side switch, and that can be a little slower to find. This, very tactile and friendly, you're gonna turn it on real quickly and slip it back in your pocket just as quick. A little bit of some ridges along the tail cap area as well for some extra grip. And the tail cap there is a rubber material, has some texturing on it for some extra grip and purchase as well. And the body of the flashlight itself, other than that tail cap, is all metal. It's an anodized aluminum. Now, what does anodized mean? Well, that's a process that increases the thickness of the natural oxide on the surface of a metal. What does that mean? What's the purpose of that? Well, basically it just increases the resistance to corrosion as well as wear. I'll flip it up and take a look at the lens as well as the actual little single LED in there. And that is a Philips LED and that throws a pretty decent light. Now it's not specifically a spotlight or an area flood. It's kind of in between, if you will, with a hotspot and a pretty nice soft spread on it as well, which makes it good for all around kind of general lighting. It is rated IPX8, which means it is submersible. No problem there. So if you get caught in a rainstorm, no worries. Or if it's in your pocket when you do a water crossing or you go for a swim and forget about your flashlight, not a problem at all. You're going to be just fine. It's nice and sealed up and will continue to work even when submerged. So there you have it. That pretty much covers all the operation specs and features right there. It's a simple little light. I actually like it a lot. I've come to, I think this may be my new everyday carry. Now I've said that before, but I'm a bit of a flashlight nerd and I keep trying all these flashlights out. But I'd say for a go-to, especially with nicer, dressier clothes, you're not wearing or wanting to wear something real bulky. This is pretty good. Now you're gonna get longer run times and probably higher brightness levels if you go to a double stacked or a two triple uh, A setup, right? But that's also gonna give you a little more bulk. Sometimes I've found that those two triple A systems are a little too long for the back pocket, which is where I usually like to carry of my pants. This, I don't think there's any way unless I'm wearing some really strange uh, short shorts that I'm not going to get this in my back pocket. So I think I'm covered there for just about any application. And like I said, with five lumens and 180, I'm pretty much covered on most lighting applications for everyday use. So I'm digging that. I'm liking this. And the price point on it is pretty cool as well. It's uh, under 20 bucks, I believe, at least it is right now in 2018. So check it out if you're looking for a little simple everyday carry pocket flashlight. Till next time, I'm Syntax77 and you have fun out there.